A Clockwork Orange is famous for the same reasons that its author, Anthony Burgess, came to loathe it. The film adaptation that followed became iconic for its visual style, but Burgess felt the adaptation strayed too far from his novel. In fact, he said the film, quote, made it easy for readers of the book to misunderstand what it was about, and the misunderstanding will pursue me till I die. Yet, there's no doubt that the success of the book is tightly interwoven with that of Stanley Kubrick's 1971 film, and the relationship between the two is evident in the ever-changing cover design. A Clockwork Orange has gone through many design iterations over the years, with some covers lasting longer than others. But the most recent version is perhaps one of the most iconic, a simple, minimalist design that doesn't have, or even need, the full title of the book on the cover. How did we end up with this spare, minimalist take, and what makes this cover so effective? You do something, maybe you don't consider it so important, but it just gets the spirit of the time, somehow picks up on a theme which everybody can attach to, and I think a clover orange definitely has done that. My name is Jonathan Barnbrook. I'm a graphic designer, and I created the cover for Penguin's 2014 restored edition of A Clockwork Orange. Before we fully dig into Jonathan's artwork, let's go back to 1962 and the initial publication of the book. The first edition of A Clockwork Orange was published by William Heinemann Limited. The cover, designed by Barry Trengov, featured a brutish, open-mouthed portrayal of young Alex, the first of many to come. But if you look closer, it's not just somebody shouting, it's actually somebody shouting in NADSA, the future language used in A Clockwork Orange. And actually they're saying something quite offensive, so the designer has managed to get through, you know, a cheeky subversive message. He's basically shouting bollocks. <laughs> on the cover to everybody looking at it. And it's very much within the spirit of the book. The first Penguin UK publication of the novel ushered in one of the most famous book covers of all time, featuring what is now commonly referred to as the cog-eyed droog. The film director legally forbade Penguin from using the design elements of the film poster, so designer David Pelham was tasked with commissioning an illustration. This cover is a result of circumstance of not having much time and somebody doing the illustration that he commissioned and them turning out a very bad bit of work. So he had to do it himself overnight, basically. Sometimes that lack of time actually forces you to make decisions and to make the most direct uh, designs. If you want to talk about it in terms of branding, it's a fantastic piece of branding. As soon as you see the figure with the eye, uh, with the cog and the bowl hat, then you know what it is. You know, it's about a clockwork orange. It's just really strong. And it also, it really has a feeling of danger. You know, this person directly confronting you, but you actually can't see them. There is an inherent violence in that cover, which is very much reflected in the book. I do often get people writing to me, asking me about the clockwork orange cover, and I realise they're writing about this one. So <laughs> I have to politely tell them, actually, it's by David Pelham. In the year 2000, A Clockwork Orange was made a Penguin modern classic, and reissued with a millennial band of silver and a cover photograph by Roland of a glass of milk. I think this also relies on the film in that very famous uh, early scene where Alex raises his glass of milk uh, to the camera. And it's extremely modern, this cover. You know, the photography is very simple, the typography is very simple. So I think uh, done in the spirit of the spirit of the age as well. And so we arrive at the latest cover, its most elegant, but also its most abstract design, a radically simple orange circle on a white background, designed by Jonathan himself. I think first credit has to go to Penguin and particularly to Jim Stoddart for commissioning us and being brave with a cover because, you know, it's, a, it's an important novel and um, they took a chance on a, you know, quite a courageous cover. My work was very, very complex and layered for 20, 20 odd years. But any good designer, I think, reacts against what they've done. And you could be as radical with simplicity as you can with complexity. One of the products of that was The Next Day by uh, David Bowie. I designed the cover for that, which is simply a white square over his face. And this was a, an expression of that simplicity as well. The full title doesn't appear on the cover which for any publisher is a really big risk to take. It's because I think there are very, very few novels that you could do that to. 
you could, for instance, do the picture of Dorian, and then what, or the catcher in the, or Fahrenheit. I do remember some of the different houses that Alex broke into, the artwork on the walls, and that, and the orange circle and white background sort of it hints at that 60s abstract art. But there's this thing about design, sometimes you should just leave stuff alone. And the clarity of that cover comes from the fact that the novel is a classic. You know, you don't need to do anything more than just say, this is a clockwork orange, this is this novel. And that's what we're presenting to you. I mean, what's quite interesting is that with the rise of social media and the, the way people are influenced by supposing fake bots on the internet and that kind of thing, um, the context of the Clockwork Orange has changed about this idea of free will and indoctrination. So I imagine the, the book cover for today would be very, very different and possibly take on some of those, those things. It's a novel that keeps changing its relationship to us and keeps changing in relationship to the idea of privacy and freedom in society. They are fundamental things and that's why the novel can just be popular. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the Penguin YouTube channel for more content by clicking here. And if you enjoyed this video, please let us know in the comments below. If you want to pick up your own copy of A Clockwork Orange with Jonathan Barnbrook's design, you'll find a link to purchase in the description. See you next time!